yes good morning good morning good morning i'm sure that you can continuously listen to this beautiful refrain but it's time for us to delve into the word of god and to spend time in his presence we are looking today at isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 and in the new living translation it tells us listen the lord's arm is not too weak to save you nor is his ear too deaf to hear you call let us bow our heads for a word of prayer thank you dear father that we can call upon your name thank you that you awoke us this morning and we have the opportunity to listen to your voice even as you speak to us now may we hear and respond to your call in jesus name and we thanks we pray amen according to the king james version the same passage of scripture isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 reads behold the lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save neither is ear heavy that it cannot hear so we all go through things that are unfair people do us wrong the company let us go we came down with an illness it is easy to live with a victim mentality thinking we are at a disadvantage we were shortchanged we cannot do anything great we cannot love again because the last person hurt us we cannot be happy because we have lost too much now as long as you accept that you are a victim you will get stuck do not use what you have been through as an excuse to feel sorry for yourself to limit you to not pursue your dreams you have to take the hand you have been dealt and make the most of it. Nothing that has happened to you has stopped your destiny. When someone did you wrong and walk away, it may have been painful, but they did not ruin your life. They do not have that much power. With this strong or with his strong right arm, God would work out his plan for you. Now, do your part and be the victor yes don't allow situations and circumstances to thwart your life's progress don't allow these situations to overwhelm you that you cannot bounce back remember you are dealing with god god who has a plan for you god who knows your destiny your future god who knows what is best for you so these bumps in the roads are not to overwhelm you in fact, they are to give you momentum so that you can move on with that desire to fulfill God's plan for your life. So with this being said, we ask, dear Father, that you would be with us today. And help us that those things that come in our way, we would see them not as hurdles or barriers. We see them as stepping stones. Help us to step upon them and overcome, not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. Take full control of us throughout the day. In Jesus' name and with thanks we pray. Amen.